Hello, it's the end of Friday, I'm about to close up shop with the, for the night, and I have finished the first phase of the piloting system. It can't maneuver sideways or up and down, but it can turn and go straight at a, at a point, and that's pretty good for starters. What I've done is I've connected Odin up with a couple of commands. Odin can say, a OK, ping, home, or go to Y10,000. When I do that, it'll send that command to all one <laughs> of its uh, drones. So if I were to say ping, click, it goes ahead and pings. Now this communication takes about 10 seconds, which is too long if we plan to have both ships moving, because when the lasers connect, they connect to a spot in space, and if they're disconnected, that spot in space will fall behind the other ship. As long as one or the other is still, this delay isn't so bad, but that means that I can't do any flying in formation stuff. At least not with, not until I figure out a better way to do it. Let me know if you have an awesome idea. Alright, so that ping is over. I'm going to tell it to go to Y10,000, but not from in here. Because what would be the point? I want to be out here with the drone where I can see it. So this is a cockpit, but we're not going to allow ourselves to control it here. In fact, we have to get out specifically so that it has a, uh, a moment of control on its own. Uh, there's something weird about how the cockpits interfere with the AI drone stuff. Oh yeah, we're going over to the large ship, and we're going to trigger that motion. Alright, we found some GPS coordinates, and off we go! You can see that we are uh, slowly gaining ground on it, and we keep correcting as we get to be a little bit pointed wrong over and over and over. The reason we keep pointing a little bit wrong is because we're desperately trying to keep connection back to the base with the laser antenna. So every time that we lose connection, we roll a little bit, and that does cause us to veer away slightly. So yep, we are going out there. Now, right now, I have an issue where uh, the only engines I directly control are the rear engines, and I don't turn off uh, dampening. And that means that the front engines, which you can see here, are actually trying to stop us. Well, I'll deal with those sorts of details later. So, we just passed beyond the range that we would normally able to be able to contact the drone. However, because of the laser antenna, we can still contact the drone just fine, if we wanted to. I probably should have made it 8,000 just so this would have gone a little bit faster, but hey, whatever. Now the Valkyrie, if, if she loses connection to home base for long enough, she'll give up and go back home, which is nice. But we haven't lost any connection to home base. We're still fine. And what we're going to do is we're going to press the go home button as soon as we stop. And we are stopping right now. There we are. We've stopped. So you can see, we are now pretty far in the middle of nowhere. Yep. So let's go ahead and contact the big ship and send us and send ourselves home. Which is this one. Oh, I didn't mean to get out. <laughs> I meant to look. There we are. So we just got ourselves some GPS coordinates that are 9,000 9, meters away, almost the same exact place. Now keep in mind, going home is actually a command that interprets where the ship currently is. I'm not sending her to 000, I'm sending her to the ship. And that means that it's a lot more adaptable. I can drive around, I can change locations, uh, and if I had three or four different uh, Odin carriers or Odin bases, I could choose which one to send her to. Now this is probably uh, all, uh, all I will accomplish today, but the weekend has a couple more days in it, and I'm hoping to get docking done before Monday, because I think docking would be really neat. Um, that will require me to be able to maneuver sideways and up and down and have much more control over the thrusters. So we're definitely going to see that happen in the very near future here. Zoom. 
It's a good thing I didn't slam into any asteroids. Speaking of which, I had better change the code because I've got a memory leak. And I don't know if you can see that uh, that frame rate loss there. That's not that's not processing. That's memory leaking. Um, turns out that the garbage collection that happens in the programming block is apparently really bad. So I've got to be a lot more careful with wh how I allocate that stuff. And now, what are we doing? Oh, we're just stopping. There we are. We turned around so we could stop better. Nice. And we are parked near enough the carrier that uh, that we can easily get contacted or have someone come out, but far enough away we don't break anything. Well, that's been about, I guess, six hours, maybe seven hours of coding on this project, and it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm having a ton of fun, and I expect to continue having fun for at least one more day. 